Have you ever wondered if you were an old soul or not? Are you often quite wise, curious, patient, able to see the bigger picture, or perhaps you're just a naturally relaxed person? Well you might just be an old soul, whether you've been called it before or always had a feeling you were, what does being an old soul really mean? Here, we dive into the true meaning, plus, the signs to look out for that you could be an old soul. Here are six signs that you are, one dot perceptions. Old souls view themselves, others, and life in general as a united reality. They understand how to be at peace with all conflicts and how to experience harmony within diversity. Since they view each being to be part of the broader scheme of things. Their common motto is, you do your own thing, and I'll do mine. As an old soul, they have a philosophical outlook on life. They see the world on a larger scale than most people. When they're faced with problems, they see it as a learning experience. It's easier for them to focus on the lessons in every hardship because they see them as a part of your overall journey, old souls don't place a lot of value on owning expensive and material things. They find that they get so much more on personal relationships and experiences than anything you could do on your own, 2. Way of life. Old souls are more relaxed. They're more laid back and detached in life. They find human existence to be more familiar and manageable. There are not so many issues that they struggle to deal with. Their main issues are more existential than material or psychological, one of the difficulties old souls encounter is having lapses in apathy or complacency. Unlike young souls, they are not driven to complete major projects before they die. They find joy in simply being, rather than doing. You will also notice old souls with a sense of separation from the real world. They recognize that there's their perspective about life and relationships, and then there's the conventional way. And so, old souls tend to be more rebellious. They do not believe one approach is better than the other, just different, even when the old soul is rebellious, they still have a high level of apathy and acceptance for others. Friends usually go to old souls for advice or to share a secret that they wouldn't tell anyone else. They know they'll listen without judgment. 3. Hobbies Interests Old souls enjoy solitude. They use it as a time to reflect on life and everything going on. They continually seek a higher understanding and are introspective about life. They also take pleasure in simple things, like drinking coffee, breakfasts with friends and reading the news. Their hobbies focus on self-actualization. They find enjoyment out of self-expression through writing, art, music, and other outlets. Old souls are in touch with your natural abilities and often have an extreme interest in these abilities. Old souls also have a burning desire to attain the truth and inner wisdom. They will not be seen highly involved in religion, politics, or other educational facilities because they see that at the end of the day, we are all one with the universe. 4. Characteristics Old souls have a sense of self-assurance that is unusual for souls in other stages. They are not with brash confidence. This is not a can-do attitude. Rather, they're more relaxed and philosophical about life. They are at ease with themselves. They have fewer worldly concerns, the old souls emanate a calm, steady quality that has substance and depth. In contrast, the young souls are a bit more frantic and superficial, while the mature souls are more stressed and assailed by life. Young souls tend to talk loud and fast. Mature souls tend to have a soft tone that's laced with uncertainty. Old souls have a slow, deep voice that's more relaxed and unhurried. In the same way, young souls sometimes don't like to make eye contact for too long. Mature souls will do so when they're not so distracted. Old souls will tend to make direct eye contact with an unflinching gaze. 5. Connections. As an old soul, they're sensitive and spiritual in nature. They tend to rely on their gut feel when making decisions. They're connected to their intuitive powers and they can read people well, even when they don't have a large circle of friends, they've always feel like they are comfortable. Regardless of where they are, they seem to be the kind of people that strangers feel comfortable talking with. Something about them makes other people spill their life story with them within minutes of meeting an old soul, so, are you an old soul? If you are here 10 characteristics of being an old soul shared by spiritual writer Sarah Reagan. 1. You have an inquisitive, 
curious mind. Old souls very much prioritize truth and wisdom. As such, they often have curious minds about what's happening in the world and internally but not in a superficial way, Brailsford notes. Whether it's world events or your relationship with a family member or friend, it's the idea of being curious about what's emerging and what one might learn or cultivate through the experience. She explains, too. You can see the big picture. If you're an old soul, you're likely able to see beyond appearances, Brailsford says. You're probably able to let things roll off your back easier, and you're less likely to be triggered by certain things. I'm not saying on a day-to-day -day basis you're not human and don't get angry, she adds, but overall, you're able to step back and see the bigger picture, whether immediately or a little later, and have a sense of what it was all about. 3. You may feel like a bit of an outsider. According to Merzen, being an old soul can make it difficult to form meaningful connections, at least when you're young. If you're an old soul and are still chronologically young, it might take a while to find your tribe, she says. And as Brailsford adds, they might feel like an outlier, and they may initially feel that they're alone in this. 4. Dot but you know your fellow old souls when you meet them. While it can be difficult to get along with everyone when you're an old soul, Brailsford is quick to note that in the long run, old souls are actually good at finding their fellow kindred spirits. A true old soul realizes they can't be the only one. Old souls are looking out for one another, they're trying to find one another, so they're trying to make that connection because they realize there's a connection to be had. This is where you see those instantaneous soul connections that run very deep, 5. You feel deeply connected to everything. Not only do old souls feel deeply connected to God, spirit, the universe, whatever it is they call it, but they also feel that with nature, the people in their lives, and even strangers. An old soul has a sense of connection to the universe and therefore to other souls, Brailsford says, adding, we probably have that connection to everyone, but maybe it doesn't show up in this lifetime. 6. You go against the status quo. Because old souls can see the big picture and beyond many of the basic structures that govern our reality, they like to do things their own way. Old souls are rebellious, Brailsford notes. They don't just think outside of the box, they intuit that the boxes don't even exist, dot. There's a skepticism, a sense of understanding that everything they've been shown isn't necessarily the case, and they're going to seek to find their own truth. 7. You're wise beyond your years. From an early age, you may have been told you're wise beyond your years. Perhaps you've always felt you were more mature or understanding than your peers, especially when you were young. As Merzen explains it, there is a knowing that they have been around the block before. You may recognize an old soul even in a newborn. Their spirit's wisdom is written over their entire body. 8. You're not materialistic, one of those basic structures that we touched on previously would be materialism. Simply put, old souls are not concerned with it. They have a sense that we're living in this material world but there's something more important, and perhaps the things we've been taught in school, or by our parents, or society, aren't necessarily true, Brailsford says. 9. Your inner world is more important than the outer. Not to say you don't care about the outer world, but for old souls, their inner growth, journey, and relationship to themselves and spirit are often of utmost importance. The soul is inside, and it's about going within, Brailsford notes. You probably spend good amounts of time in reflection, deeply pondering your experiences and life lessons. 10. You have a particular gift from the past. Were you always inclined to the violin for seemingly no reason? Or maybe you have a proclivity for baking, even though you never baked with anyone in your family. Having a particular gift. In a particular field out of the blue, whether it's an instrument or career or even place, Brailsford says, is a sign of an old soul. There's this sense of having a knowing about that thing, that you've done this before. 11. You often need to recharge. And lastly, these deeply contemplative folks often need to reset their batteries, so to speak. They're probably drawn to meditation and solitude, Brailsford notes. It's not that they don't enjoy people's company, but they know there are certain times they have to go within. They're not living just an external life.